Hello everyone. Today's video will be turning this uh, Gorilla utility cart that I need to clean up a little bit. Throw these out. I'm going to turn this Gorilla cart into into this right here. My Gorilla cart monster cage. And now I will show you how I did this. Please uh, subscribe and like and comment, whatever, if you see anything in here that you had questions about, uh, let me know. Okay, so I got three of these. I'm going to cut roughly in half, so they're going to be nine and three quarters inches in length. Because I need six of these total to go around the edge of the grill cart to add as a support to build around. So, nine and three quarters of these three. I'm cut down real quick. Right over here. See how my dust collection works today. It's the first time I'm really using a miter saw. <clears throat> so, test it out. <laughs> set up here and it's just set in the back it's a clamped on there or set in there it just pops in that's a different video for that but anyway so got these nine cut and i gotta go figure out how to i'm going to fix these things to get them to work okay so i need these to fit down inside here right, there's six holes three on each side you gotta fit down in there and i want them to fit down Well, they're going to bottom out, so it really doesn't matter then, actually. So I just need to trim these down somehow um, by just trimming off the edge here a little bit. Now, if I, I could just send it through the table saw and take the rounded edges off, and it would be... That, that'll work. So I'm just going to send these through the table saw, take off the rounded edges, Square these things up, and that'll work. That'll actually work pretty good. Now, they may be too long, then. I didn't realize I was made them this long. I thought these holes went all the way through, but they... There we go. I thought they went all the way through, but they don't. <clears throat> but, so for now, I'm going to send these through the table saw, take off the rounded edges. There we go. I think I may have missed recording on the uh, table saw. Airplane flying by, wherever it's at. Airport right over that way. So, I got six of these now. It'll fit down inside there. So now I've got that part. Now I'm going to build the framework. It'll go around this. So I want to measure from down so I need to actually get all six of those and put them in there okay Ouch. So that fits there that fits there rest on the back here and the back here for the little extra weight support other than the little bit of gap it's got right here to rest on so I need to measure um, the length from we'll go from here from this front this back here and we're at 39 oops get on there 
39 and a quarter inches. If I do 39, that should be perfect. So I need 39 to go across here, 39 to go across there, and then the top part of 39 and the 39. So I need four 39 inches. Okay, 39 inches. how they're going to rest. So I need to line them up or and screw into these. I don't know if I want to keep those, I have to cut those tips off there. So I'm going to rest this on here. Pencil line. Cut those. But that's going to be day two project. Wow, day one. These three these three, these two, and I got the other two out in the shop. So, it's time to go to work. In there, so what I'm going to do is just rest this 2 by 4 on here. And because it's just construction lumber, but it's all rounded over, if I take, sorry about that, just take my pencil, down in that groove a little bit, take this out, and then I can cut that at that line, the the straighter one, not the one that goes down towards the straight straighter, uh, the top line. And then go cut that, bring it back, pencil line, pencil line, do all those. Then each one of these, just in case it's manufactured a little bit off, should be, shapes one should be the same, but I'm just going to do it that route. Draw a line, go cut it, come back, and blah, blah, blah. All the way across all six of these here. I'm just like I said, just hold that up against there. I might, once I cut one, Nope, that's all I'm going to do. So, once I get these six cut, I will be back. So my thought was to build this bottom basic box, connect the 2x4s here, and build a box and then set it down. But, you can see it's it's not many things. Get that little lip right there. So this kind of rocks. Because of this lip right, right there. So when it sits on there, it kind of doesn't. So I got to get it, basically I got to rest it down and attach it to these side braces here right uh, there those guys so what I thought might work and I think it's going to because I need this to be level is I use my level and might I mean the flush from this side to this side so it's nice and straight across here to my cockeyed so if I take my level and I just rest it just where it's up against, it barely touches that edge right there. You can hear it hitting. Right there. So if I go here and attach it, put some screws in. I'm just going to put one in for now, right about the center of this thing, because you know, I'll pre drill it too, I guess. But And then I'll do the same thing with the other side. <clears throat> that should make this face and that face down there flush on both ends and the overhang here because I'm going to put the board in the middle so it helps rest on the frame here 
something in the back here. It'll rest on that. Some of the weight will rest on this as well, I should say. So, um, and if you wanted to know, these are five and seven eighths inches tall. If you're building with, if you want to build one as well, and you can see it's, it's fairly flush right there. So my method wasn't the best route, but it worked. Got them all screwed on, so that's on there. Now they still will come out. Oh, well, sure will. <laughs> It'll come out, I swear. Let's see if I can get this one out easier. There we go. So I can paint this, and when the season's over, I can put it away and just slide it back in. It's hard to do one handed, I guess. But, okay, so those are in. Now I need to get the distance between here and also between here. I'm going to measure these two separately, just in case. Um, but as you can see, I got that on there. There's my two front, or two sides. Now I need to get the front and the back. So I'll measure and cut those. These measure to 22 and a quarter inches. They're just loosely laying in there. Um, I'm not going to screw them in yet, I just wanted to look at this. That one's in there loose too. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking <clears throat> is I need to take these off. Um, I'm going to leave these with just the one screw just so I can pivot it just in case it goes off a little bit and so I can set it back in there because that could be the issue a little tight. Um, I may just leave it at one screw forever. It'll hold on there. I'll think about that. It's not like it's hooked. You'll see here in a little bit. But I need to sand these down. Nothing major. Just get this little tear out off of there. Clean up them up a little bit. And I'm going to paint them black. And then drill holes for the dowels. I think that is where I'm at. So, sand these corners down a little bit, make it a little bit more presentable. Set up my paint booth there, which as you can see is just that uh, cardboard box. So, stuff just sits on top of it. And spray these all black. So, sanding's boring. I'm not going to record any of that. Um, once I start the painting, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you my quick little... Well, it's, it's, a, it's a paint thing. Box... Spray paint, nothing. You know, nothing cool there. But uh, once I get them sanded up, and I, we'll see some more wherever, if I decide to film some of that crap. Anyways, sand and paint. So here's what I do whenever I paint. Just set my box up. I got some extra little pieces of wood just to keep it from resting on the actual cardboard so it doesn't stick to it. Um, it's not painted yet, of course, I'm going to paint it black. Just use some of this Krylon. Color Max paint primer in one. The only thing I gotta be careful of is my lawnmower. I do have a couple little other little projects that are sitting up on here out in the garage still. And then most importantly, if I get some on the lawnmower, meh, I'm not in trouble. But I will be if I get the wife's car. And this won't be too bad. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll be bad. So I spray paint everything this direction best I can, and then just the last little bits down there. Um could take it outside, but it's a little misty out right now, not the greatest, so I'm just going to spray paint these in here. So I'm just going to get one coat on this side, let it dry, flip it over, get the other side, come back, do probably about two coats on this stuff. Uh, may run out of paint, but I'll have to go get some more of the exact same stuff. So once these are painted, you'll see them. Oops. Okay, so what I've got so far is these the four two sides now they're, they're these aren't screwed in these are just kind of set there for now i'm not going to screw anything together quite yet because i got to drill holes so i got these painted and on and just set on here um here's our these will go i'm going to drill holes and mount those inside there and this is four feet tall i am not going to make a thing four foot tall i was thinking three but that still looks pretty daggone tall so I might come down to about, which would be awesome, because then I can, maybe two feet? Jeez, I don't know. If I cut these in half, that might be plenty big enough. We'll look at it. 
And if it is, then I bought too many. Anyways, so I got drill holes in these. Um, and then here's the top row. Front back, two sides. Of course, front back, two sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to evenly... So what I'm, I'm going to measure from the inside here to the inside here. So I'm going to put a 2x3 two because 2x2s, two they were all way curvy and stuff. They didn't have any good ones at Lowe's when I went last. So 2x3, I might have to take a little chunk of something. I don't think I have any 2x3s. All I've got is 8-footers. Long to boss lady. So just so I can get some measurements here because I'll have the 2x3s in each of the corners as main support. And then I want to measure in, well, 2x3 should be 2.5 inches. I don't know, I'll measure that and then I'll just measure in that much. And I'm just going to use a little pencil. I don't know if you can see that. Let me look here. It's right there. This is that pencil mark. And... Uh, Barely, barely, barely see it right there. So I'm just going to mark that far in for that because I can see it. Marking that far for how, how wide the 2x3 is. Then measure the distance between that. Divide it by blah, 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 number, whatever it is. I can evenly space these. I got the thing with divide by, by see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I think, to get the middle parts. Because that'd be 6 pieces. And then get the middles. So then I can put the bars in. Or, and then I'll just mark with a little hex, hex mark. And then I will line the, and then I'll play. Well, let me just do that. Let me get these marked. And then I'm going to try my best. I don't need a level for this. I'm just going to have to measure. And then put my marks on this piece, this piece, and this piece. That is not getting holes in it. And I will show you why when they get there. So right now, measure and mark my holes. I don't know if you can see these or not. Yeah, you can kind of see that. That line right there. So I measured in two and a half inches because that's where the two by three is going to go in each of these two corners from the inside of this bar or this, this cross piece. Two and a half inches. That's where the two by three is going to end. Then I measured this distance between the two. That would be here. That was 31. Divided that by 6, and I got 5.166666, blah, 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 blah. So I went from here to here is about 5 and a 64th, or I mean, sorry, 5 and a 16th. 5 and a 16th, 5 and a 16th, 5 and a 16th, 5 and a 16th. And then I used my square to draw the line across. And then I took this. And because the 2x4 is an inch and a half thick, I set the gauge to 3 quarters of an inch, which I don't think you can see that. Oh, well, sorry. Then laid it on the edge here and drew my line there and so forth. So now I got the center of each of these. Now I can take the corresponding, so we'll take this out for now. Take this out. Move these over here. Take this piece out. Now, the only bad thing is, is I think these might still be a little wet. So, um, we'll just demonstrate with you know, the piece I just laid down here. So, what I can do is lay this the long one, of course, the same corresponding piece that'll be up here. Lay that flush up against here, and then just transfer this line across to this, to that piece. And then I know that those, when it's together, We'll, uh, we'll line up with the cross pieces in here, or with the dowels in here. Somebody's getting fussy, so I gotta take a break for a little bit. Sorry guys, but that's where we're at. So now I'm just gonna mark those lines once I take care of the little girl and move on and probably just start drilling my holes for the dowels. Okay, so I got these five holes drilled of course. The five holes up here lined up and drilled in. I just dry fitted it on there, and that's basically what this side's going to look like. Like I said, I'll have a, I will have a two by three going in between here. Basically, it's two by four, of course, going in between back in here um, as more as, as a support 
to it, but in, the, in the, each of the corners. But for right now, that works. I have not, I've marked the holes in this one, but none of those and none of the other ones. But now that I know that that is a perfect height, I'm going to go ahead and remove the stickers from all these. Sorry, I'm pointing to it and you didn't see it. All these guys here, so I can spray paint these all uh, gray, silver, some color along those lines. Touch up some of the black on the pieces that I, after I drill. Um, and that's it so far. So I'm going to remove some stickers, boring work, spray paint these gray, sneeze. Oh, <coughs> damn, sorry guys. Uh, so, okay. Um, drill the rest of the holes. Clean stickers, spray paint silver, gray, whatever color it is we got, and come back once I get all of that done. But there it is so far, guys. My little monster cage. Okay, I drilled some pilot holes into the ends here just so that wood doesn't crack or split, whatever. I'm gonna drill or drill, uh, drive some. Uh, Two and a half inch, just decking screws in the, into this guy. And same thing on the other side. side now I'm going to drill I gotta set the front bar in here measure to where to put the holes in the, the, the crossbar here and the crossbar up top so once I get that drilled get those holes drilled I will be back um, so I gotta do some more work here let this spray paint dry on these before I can paint these um, just took a piece of scrap wood, drilled a bunch of holes in it to hold all 16 of the dowels. And I'm going to try to use this as my paint area for these dowels with the stone, uh, gloss stone gray down there. But I need to let these two dry first because I don't want to cross paint. Um, but I'm going to mark and drill the holes for the front parts. And I'll be back once that's done. Okay, the bottom pieces are all attached. Just set these out here because I got the, the bars drying. I drilled some additional holes, which would be the top part, the bars that go across the top here. Drill those ones there. Once, actually I could probably, since it's lined up right now, just on here, measure this distance, just the outside or inside inside I mean sorry I drilled them in three quarters of an inch so if I add an inch and a half so inch and a quarter because I think they're a little bit shy of three quarters of an inch but anyways um, measure this add an inch and a quarter to it then I can cut the five beams that go across the top and then they will go into here whenever I get that time to once these are dried and finished painting um, this actually didn't work too bad I just spray painted like this, just went around. You know, no, I got some runs in there, but it's a freaking Halloween thing. Who gives a shit? So run, and then I did the best I could, and then just rotated the whole stand, and then did some more. Like that right there needs a little bit of touch up. There's just some spots that need to touch up, but I'll just have to rotate them once this coat is dry here in a little while. And then I can start assembling the two sides and the front. And once I get the two sides in the front, the back is going to be the fun part because I have to measure and cut the... Actually, I can go ahead and measure that now and cut them because... No, nah, I'll do that once I'm done with that part. <clears throat> once I get that, the 2x3s um, for the gate. 
that's going to lift up and down right here. Kind of jumped ahead and didn't record this, so I'm sorry. Um, but I got these next three ready. So all I'm doing is, is squirting a little bit of glue in each one of these three holes. Taking the rod, my rubber mallet, and wait until they hit bottom. Take the next one. Hit bottom. Take the next one. Just have to hold on a little bit. Hit bottom. And then I will set this down. I will fill uh, these three holes. There we go. These three holes with glue and carefully drop it on there. But first I want to get I'm waiting for come on screen. Let me see where I'm looking at here. Okay. Let me see these five bars here. <coughs> Damn, sneeze again. These five to dry. They're still a little tacky. So I can put them in across the top here. It's still a little flimsy, as you can see. But it should give me just enough space to squeeze those in, pop them in, and then I will add that back piece. That back piece there, across the top. Attach this one here, which has just got holes straight through. If you can see that. There you go, you can see that. Because this back, I'm going to build out of the 3 by 2 by 3 a lifting uh, gate to get in. Um, I got those pieces of wood cut. Uh, I haven't painted them yet because i got to sand them down first. And so I'm going to let these get a little drier so they're not so tacky. Just put some glue in the five holes. Both sides, there's some, of course some here too. Glue those in. Get that top cap on. And then I'm going to just pre-drill like I did down here. A couple holes on each of the two sides. Screw that in, and then I'm going to uh, attach this piece, pre-drill. Uh, I'll probably use some clamps a little bit, just to hold it a little bit nicer, just so it's clamped together while I'm trying to screw those things on. So I added clamps to this while I was letting the these dry that are glued in there. <clears throat> so I push these in on this side all five of these and then to get it to push in on this side that's why I use the clamps so I just kind of lined up the clamps and then slowly pressurized them to where it brought it in and clamped onto this so now this is all glued up <clears throat> now I'm going to add the back piece well technically it's the front piece where I'm standing it was the back so I'm going to put glue in here glue down here or I'm going to glue it onto these and then drill some pilot holes on the ends here, excuse me again, and add some screws to the top here. And then this part will be done for now, and then we'll move on to the next section. So, well, see where I made a mistake already. I'm not going to fix it per se. So, you can see that huge gap there, and there's one over here on this side too. When I measured this piece, I measured it from down here and just cut two of them but when I drilled the holes for these I only put them in three quarters of an inch instead of the one inch that I used for all the other holes and when I measured it I was not realizing that I did it for three quarters of an inch so all I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fill the gap or I'm not gonna replace this whenever I put the support beam that'll go um, let's grab this guy here as an example. It's a little bit short, but so when I put the support beam in, that'll go up in here. So it's going to rest up in there with the three by uh, two by three. I will just use that to hold secure this down. I'll try to even the gap out, but you won't really notice the gap as badly once it's because it's going to be all black. So 
I'm just going to go that route with it, and it's going to be the same issue here on the front as well, or the, I keep calling this the front, on the back as well. Um, yeah, I screwed up. If I'd have made these a little bit shorter, and or uh, put the, 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 drilled the holes in a little bit deeper, it would have been better. But oh well. So now it is time to measure and cut the support beams that'll go in the four corners here. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna measure them individually just in case this is crooked a little bit. So I'm gonna measure from grab this post here from this corner where that where, where it's got that little piece right there. That little lip right there. I'm gonna measure from that to the top of this one here. It's right up here. And then cut a two by three that length. Okay, now I'm going to install these four support posts into this corner here, like such. There we go. So I'm just going to screw them. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way. So I'm just going to add a couple screws here. And then I'll drill some pilot holes whenever I screw in this one here. Now I might only add just one screw there, one screw there, one each of the four corners, basically. Because it's not really there to support anything. But I think that'll be plenty. Oh, I can let go. And that's what it looks like on that side. So, I'm going to pop a screw in here. Pre-drill and pop one in here. Same thing, same thing. And... I'm going to do all four corners, and I will be back once I get the four corners done. Okay, here's my four sports. That's pretty sturdy. I mean, it doesn't have to hold any weight or anything, so... it just got to get pulled around in the wagon. So now it's time to put in the gate side. So that will be... doesn't really matter which one it is, so this will go about here. And then this one will go up top here in a moment. But first, I need to get these three here, slide them down. Sorry, I'm sitting around even paying sure I'm going to slide them down through here. Oh, shit. Cut them too short somehow. I'm going to have to recut these. Because <clears throat> that needs to go up through here. So it connects into here as well. So I cut them a damn it, a little too short. So, oops, sorry. Um, now I need to remeasure these things. And I don't have my tape measure out here. Shit, be back. Okay, so I did a quick measure. Right, when I cut these, I <clears throat> cut these all to length for each one of these all the way around. Thinking that since it's going to be the same length here, basically, it should be the same length from here to here, which it is. I don't know, I don't know what the hell happened here, but anyway, these would work perfect for going inside these again. But it doesn't work for out for over here. So the story of every man's life were about two inches short. So I'm gonna cut two more or sorry, three more of these things at twenty-six inches, and that'll get me because they're just shy of twenty-four. That should get me the inch I need to go in to that hole and into that hole. So, yeah, we're short. Okay, so I took the three bars, fed them through here into this piece right here. So now it'll slide. Um, I need to hmm, I figure that sway out a little bit there. But anyways, before I do that, I need to. What I'm going to do is there we go. So it, it sways a little bit, but I'll figure that out once I do it. But anyways, I'm going to add some glue into those three holes. <clears throat> and then pop it on there. Now these look like they're a little bit long. So, I mean, it might end up being about, I guess, up here there's a small gap. But just give you something to grab a hold of. I don't care. It's just a Halloween thing anyway. So glue, pound that down on there, and then we'll move on. Okay. All right, here we go. So I'm going to add... I'm just going to take a couple of pieces, one here and one down here. Uh, 
Probably just one side. I don't think I need both. I'm just going to do one side. And it's only going to hang out just far enough. I'm going to start here at the bottom. Look at this. So it's going to hang out just that far. I might round this edge off right here once I cut it. Um, and this will be, I'm going to drill a hole through here. Drill a hole into here to add a little dowel. Jesus Christ, airplane. So I'm going to drill a hole in here and into here so the dowel can act as a lock that will go into here and keep this thing from bouncing around a little bit. Um, and that way, whenever you lift it up, because like I said, I'll put one up here as well. When you lift it up, you can push the dowel in, take the dowel out, put the dowel in, and that'll hold it up while we're loading my little monster. Where, hey, boss. There she is. Right? And then we should be done with this thing here shortly. Um, I'm not going to add any decoration to it uh, yet. That is, I'm going to have my wife do that, but we'll discuss that at the end of the video. Here's the final project. So, you can see there's some errors here. The gap here I measured incorrectly or somewhere, I don't know. So I kind of even those gaps out um, and when I screwed it together. Um, and then that same thing back here. There's a bigger gap back here. Then well, it's good spacing, but it all works. Got the red pen. So if I can do this on one hand here. Pull the pin out. There we go. This lowers down. We'll set in between these two bottom pieces right there. And then you put the red pin back in and it locks it into place. So it locks our little monster into her cage when she goes out trick or treating in a couple days or a couple weeks, whatever it is. Today's, I don't even know what today is. It is uh, the 16th, so yeah, basically two weeks. <clears throat> um, so there's that. You can see it's got some... Oh, I screwed there. It kind of cracked it a little bit, but eh, who cares? It's all right. Notice a little overspray here on the red. Two different screws. You know, I ran out of the same kind. Actually, green screws here, too. But it's pretty sturdy. Kick the handle up. It's going to go around pretty good. Should be able to go around the neighborhood and carry her around in here pretty nicely. I think it'll be. I think it'll work. Um, I don't know what we're gonna put her in. If she's just gonna sit in her car seat, or she's gonna be sitting in her little bouncy chair thing in there, whatever it's called. Uh, I don't know. We just call it the bouncy chair. I don't know what the heck it is. Um, maybe I'll put her in that. There we go. That's no, not downhill. But there we go. Now my wife, uh, I'm going to have her do the decorating part of it of, as she calls it, her cry cut. And the rest of the world calls it the cricket. There's a vinyl print something on there and we'll stick it on here like, you know, danger and, uh, you know, do not open or some, you know, something like that that I have to have on here because, I mean, she's a cute little monster for Halloween. But daddy built it and it's got to have some dad on there. So, yeah, I'm going to put something along the sides here or something like that. So, I don't know yet. I'll let the wife decide that and we'll put it on. Um, if she gets it done before I get the video posted, I'll use that as my thumbnail for it. If I don't get it before I get the video edited and stuff, then it'll just be like this in the thumbnail. But, uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Like I said, I use the red pin. That way, number one, you can see it real easily. And it kind of shows, hey, do not pull this pin. I'll let the monster out. Well, there it is, guys. Ignore my yard in the background. My crappy garden over there. Don't look at that garden. So. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said at the beginning, please uh, subscribe, like, comment below. And thanks, for everybody. Have a good evening.